we're diving headfirst into the thrilling world of casinos. We're not talking about just gambling blindly though, we're going in armed with the power of math. That's right, we're about to unveil the top 10 casino game hacks that are backed by cold, hard numbers. So buckle up, smash that like button, and let's hit the casino floor. Alright guys, let's kick things off with the OG casino hack card counting. Now before you picture some genius like Rain Man mumbling numbers, this is actually way simpler than you think. In Blackjack, Card counting is all about keeping track of the ratio of high cards to low cards. See, when there are more high cards left in the deck, it actually increases your chances of hitting that sweet sweet 21. So, how do we do it? Well, we assign a value to each card. Low cards, 2 to 6, get a plus 1, high cards, 10 to ace, get a minus 1 and 7 to 9 are neutral at 0. As the dealer goes through the deck, you keep a running count in your head. A higher count means it's time to up your bets because those high cards are more likely to come out and tip the odds in your favor. Now casinos know about this so they use multiple decks to make it harder. But don't worry, even with multiple decks, card counting can still give you an edge if you know what you're doing. Let's talk about the Martingale system. This one's a classic and it's all about doubling down on your bets after every loss. Here's the idea. You start with a small bet and if you lose, you double your bet on the next round. You keep doubling down until you win, at which point you go back to your original bet. Sounds simple, right? And in theory, it should work because eventually you're bound to win back all your losses plus your initial bet. But hold on, there's a catch. The Martingale system can be super risky if you hit a losing streak, because you'll need a massive bankroll to keep doubling down. So, while it can be a fun way to play, remember the Martingale system is like a roller coaster. It's exciting but can take you for a wild ride. Alright guys, now let's flip the script and talk about a positive progression system, the Paroli system. Unlike the Martingale, where you increase bets after losses, the Paroli system has you increasing your bets after a win. It's all about riding that wave of good luck. Here's how it works. You start with a base bet, and every time you win, you double your bet, using your winnings from the previous round. The idea is to capitalize on winning streaks, and minimize losses when luck isn't on your side. You keep doubling up for a predetermined number of wins, usually three, then you reset back to your original bet. The Paroli system is less risky than the Martingale because you're only betting with your winnings, not your original bankroll. But remember, like all betting systems, it doesn't guarantee you'll win every time. Chapter 4. The D'Alembert system, a more balanced approach. Let's move on to a system that's all about balance, the D'Alembert system. This one's considered a more conservative approach compared to the Martingale or Paroli. Instead of doubling your bet, you increase or decrease it by one unit after each loss or win. So if you start with a $10 bet and lose, your next bet would be $20. If you win that round, you decrease your bet back to $10. The logic behind the D'Alembert system is that wins and losses tend to even out over time. While it might not lead to massive wins, it can help you manage your bankroll and stay in the game longer. Just remember, like all betting systems it's not foolproof and the house always has an edge. Chapter 5. The Fibonacci System. Golden Ratio Meets Gambling. Get ready to unlock the power of the golden ratio with the Fibonacci system. This one's for all you math enthusiasts out there. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where each number is the sum of the two preceding ones, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. In this system, you use the Fibonacci sequence to determine your bet size, you start by betting one unit, and if you lose, you move one step up the sequence. If you win, you move two steps back down. The idea is that even if you lose more rounds than you win, as long as you win occasionally, you can still come out ahead. But be warned, the Fibonacci system, like other progressive systems, can lead to big losses if you hit a losing streak. Chapter 6. The Labouchere System, Crossing Off Your Losses. Time for a system that's all about crossing things off a list, the Labouchere System, also known as the Cancellation System. This one involves creating a sequence of numbers that represents your desired profit. Let's say your goal is to win $100. You could create a sequence like this, 10, 20, 20, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. To determine your bet amount, you add up the first and last numbers in the sequence, in this case, $20. If you win, you cross off those numbers. If you lose, 
you add the amount you lost to the end of the sequence. The Labouchere system can be a fun and engaging way to play, but it's important to remember that it doesn't change the house edge. Alright guys, this next one is for the serious players, the Kelly Criterion. It's a mathematical formula used to determine the optimal size of your bets based on your bankroll and your perceived edge in the game. Now I know what you're thinking. Math formulas? Daniel, I came here for casino fun, not a math class. But trust me, this one's worth understanding because it can seriously up your gambling game. Basically, the Kelly Criterion helps you avoid betting too much and risking big losses while maximizing your potential winnings. It's like having a secret weapon against the house. Now, the formula itself can be a bit complicated, but there are online calculators that can do the heavy lifting for you. Just plug in your bankroll, your estimated edge, and boom! you've got your optimal bet size. All right, guys, it's time to talk about one of the biggest mistakes gamblers make, the gambler's fallacy. This is the mistaken belief that past events can influence future outcomes in random games of chance. For example, if a roulette wheel lands on black several times in a row, someone falling for the gambler's fallacy might think that red is due to hit. But here's the truth. Each spin of the roulette wheel, each roll of the dice, each hand of cards, is completely independent of the previous one. The odds reset every single time, so don't fall for the trap of thinking you can predict future outcomes based on past results. Trust the math, not your gut feeling. Listen up guys, because this is crucial. Every casino game has a built-in advantage for the house, the house edge. This means that over the long run, the casino is mathematically guaranteed to make a profit. It's how they keep the lights on and the free drinks flowing. Now the house edge varies depending on the game. Games like blackjack and video poker tend to have a lower house edge, while games like kino and slot machines usually have a higher one. The key takeaway here is to be aware of the house edge for any game you play and choose games that give you the best odds. Knowledge is power, my friends. Alright guys, we've arrived at the most important casino hack of all, bankroll management. This is how you make sure your casino trip doesn't turn into a financial disaster. Rule number one, only gamble with money you can afford to lose. That means no dipping into your rent money, your grocery budget, or your emergency fund. Set a budget before you even step foot in the casino and stick to it. Think of it like this, your bankroll is your ammunition and once it's gone, it's gone. Another pro tip, divide your bankroll into smaller sessions. This will help you stay in control and prevent you from blowing your entire budget in one go. Remember, responsible gambling is all about having fun within your limits. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you found these casino hacks helpful. Remember, while these strategies can give you an edge, there's no guaranteed way to beat the house. Gambling should always be about having fun. So make sure you're playing responsibly, setting limits, and never chasing your losses. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. See you in the next one.